So I'm Becca Mac and this is my seven questions of 30. I'm gonna go with 13, let's go with 10, let's go with 25, 24, 23, 5, 20. Oh, my last meal would be <laughs> Chinese, it's really bad. Uh, we get this beautiful vegan Chinese dish, me and Jack, that is, and Will, um, it's in Bingley, it's Chan's Kitchen, and it's fried black bean with like vegetables and peppers, and then we get um, soft noodles, which is like with bamboo shoots, and then we get these salt and chili chips and it's like almost like salad and onions with chili in like the best yummiest chips ever so yeah that's like my favorite meal yesterday i had the biggest migraine i've never had a migraine before and um will our bassist actually gets them not rarely but he he gets them and i've seen the state that he's been in he just has to go sit in like a dark room and just like for a couple of hours and just like stay still in the dark and then it comes you come around from it and that's what happened to me yesterday so that was my first migraine situation and it did scare me a bit because i've never had that much pain in my head before and i was trying to work out exactly what it was but i'm all better now <laughs> Well, my mum's always said that I've, I've got a big heart, <laughs> so I guess, is that, is that a short sweet sentence I guess? I've got a big heart. I kind of have this aspect of me where I'm like, I kind of want to live in the middle of nowhere and have my own vegetables and have kids and have the beach nearby, but then I never know where my life's going to go and what it's going to be like, so. I guess I just want to carry on being happy and just have a happy retirement. But still working hard and doing cool, fun things. I nearly yelled at um, a guy this morning actually, because we got, um, <laughs> me and Jack got a ticket for littering, but we shouldn't have really got it. And I didn't think it was fair because there was no bins in the train station or outside, so I put our empty coffee cups on a plant pot which was filled with cigarette butts and as soon as I went back into the train station he said he was going to fine us both £60 so we've now been fined £60 and I am not a litter and I'm so against all that kind of stuff but life happens <laughs> so, <laughs> I nearly shouted so I didn't shout <laughs> I'm getting aggro now talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, very easily <laughs> obviously sometimes I do panic a little bit when I'm in places and my phone's not working and I don't know how to get places and I'm like, how did people do it back in the day you know phones weren't always around when when I was growing up so yeah I think I'd be fine though I always find a way I guess my biggest phobia would be spiders but I'm slowly kind of coming out of that so I think it's just because if you have people in your family that are terrified, you pick up things. So my nana, bless her, she had a heart condition, but honestly, if there was a spider in the room, I've never seen my nan jump so high in her life onto sofas. And she'd like literally get a hoover and hoover the spider up, but like leave it on half of the night while she's sleeping because she was scared that the spider was gonna come out. So, and she'd tell us all these stories about her phobia. So it kind of made me a bit scared. But then my dad, on the other hand, would chuck spiders at me, so um, maybe it's a bit of trauma there. Because <laughs> we lived in like an old house near woods and we used to have these huge spiders come in. No one else is really scared, but for some reason, I guess the eldest from seeing everything, I'm just... <laughs> and I watched Arachnophobia at a really young age and that just, I used to have nightmares about thousands of spiders just coming and crawling on me. So. Yeah, I need to I need to get that phobia sorted. I remember seeing it, I think it's like the life of a five-year-old or a four-year-old, and it's this one kid that's just like pretty much scared of everything, but he sees his friend who's a lot more, he's like fearless, he'd just do anything. This was like a documentary on TV, and then this guy brought in a tarantula, and the guy that had no fear, you know, was like all over and but eventually the little kid you you just don't expect him to like have a go because in the whole program you see he's quite scared but very intelligent and very bright 
and he ends up putting his hand out and lets a spider crawl over his hand and I was like, for me watching a five year old get over his fear that quickly, I was like, there's hope, so, yeah, spiders. <laughs>